I am two wheel drive. Not very capable at climbing moist wet roads like these. But apparently, this one is. This is the new BMW X3 X Drive 20D. Let's find out how good it really is. The new X3 is larger than the previous car, both externally and internally. So it's got a lot more space on the inside and it's a little larger on the outside. Of course, the wonky looks come standard with the new X3, which you may like it or which you may not. But uh, on the whole, uh, it's not the most pretty looking BMW out there. Uh, the X Drive 20D comes with these uh, black finished uh, kidney grill, which is a chrome finished on the X Drive 30D. But that's basically pretty much the only difference you'll find between this and the 3 litre diesel that's also on offer. While you may not be able to live with the looks, you got to live inside it. On the inside, you now get more interior room, especially in terms of legroom and knee room. It's a lot better on, at the rear. What you get as standard is a panoramic sunroof, a start-stop system, but what you don't actually get is Aditya Upadhyay Yula as standard. That is a very pricey option. On the go, the X3's 2-litre diesel, equipped with an 8-speed automatic, is punchy and good for a sub 9 second dash to 100 km per hour. Impressive is also its ride and handling combination, though it has ever so slightly lost some amount of its fun factor. If you want more, there's always the straight 6 3 litre diesel that will leave you drooling. Moving to the inside, the X3 follows BMW's tradition of high quality interiors. The leather stitching is near perfect, while the plastic quality is top notch. It also comes with iDrive, equipped with a 6.5 inch screen, something its predecessor did not have, as well as a start stop that saves on fuel. The larger interior dimensions have helped the X3 in liberating more interior space, especially at the rear, where there is more legroom and knee room than before. There is some lack of under thigh support at the rear, but apart from that, it is quite comfortable on the whole. So, what do we make of the new X3? It's a lot better on the whole, especially in terms of the space and features available, and importantly, it still has very good driving dynamics like its predecessor. So, this, the new X3, is a very good car, and there's no doubting that. As for me, I can't rely on my two shoes. I'd be better off in that.